important conditioning is learning that occurs when an association is formed between a behavior and the consequences of that behavior. Key components in operant conditioning are positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, positive punishment, and negative punishment. For example, operant conditioning occurs when a dog fetches a ball because it has been praised for doing so in the past. When a school bully threatens his classmates because doing so allows him to get his way. And when a child gets good grades because her parents threaten to punish her if she doesn't. Study by psychologist Edward L. Thorndike, who observed cats that were placed in a puzzle box from which they had to try to escape. The cats scratched and bit the puzzle box until they accidentally pressed the lever that opened the door to reveal both the exit and a reward of fish. Over the next several attempts in the puzzle box, the cats learned to repeat the effective response in order to escape quickly. From observing the changes in the cat's behavior, Thorndike developed his law of effect. The law of effect, in essence, states that a successful response with a pleasant outcome is more likely to be repeated. Consequently, an unsuccessful response with an unpleasant outcome will occur less frequently. Behavioral psychologist B. F. Skinner expanded on Thorndike's ideas through experimentation on rats. Much like Thorndike's cats in the puzzle box, Skinner created a puzzle box for rats with the levers to release food or water. He studied how the rat's behavior changed through reinforcement and punishment and developed terms to describe the process of operant learning. Skinner used the term reinforcer to describe any event that increases the likelihood of a behavior and the term punisher to describe any event that decreases the likelihood of a behavior. He also used the terms positive and negative to refer to whether a reinforcement was added or subtracted. Positive reinforcement increases the likelihood of a response by adding something pleasant after the response. Consider these examples of positive reinforcement. A little girl receives an allowance for doing her chores. A mother buys her son a toy for doing the dishes. A father gives his daughter verbal praise for completing her homework. Conversely, negative reinforcement increases the likelihood of a response by removing something unpleasant after the response. Consider these examples of negative reinforcement. A man takes an aspirin to take away the pain from his headache. A woman enters a code that turns off a loud alarm. A young boy can leave the dinner table after he eats his vegetables. Positive punishment decreases the likelihood of a response by adding something unpleasant after the response. Consider these examples of positive punishment. A child burps loudly in class and is reprimanded by the teacher in front of the entire class. A child touches a hot stove and feels pain. A man drinks spoiled milk and gets a bad taste in his mouth. Negative punishment decreases the likelihood of a response by removing something pleasant after the response. Consider these examples of negative punishment. A student copies the answers from another student's test, so his teacher removes his test score from his total grade. A child pulls a girl's hair in class, so his teacher does not reward him with good behavior points which could have earned him a prize. An older brother picks on his younger brother, so his parents take away his favorite video game. In review, reinforcement works by increasing the likelihood of a behavior while punishment works by decreasing the likelihood of a behavior. Positive reinforcement or punishment is when something is added in order to change the behavior. Negative reinforcement or punishment is when something is removed in order to change the behavior. As explained in the various examples, operant conditioning can be used to modify behavior using positive and negative consequences. However, it is important to note that research suggests that positive consequences produce better results than negative consequences so it is suggested that positive interventions be attempted before using negative ones.